In this video, I'm going to show you the library examples Java project that introduces you to five or six Java libraries that you can use to support your testing. Hi, my name is Alan Richardson. Welcome to Evil Tester Videos, a channel where we show you how to improve your testing. And if that's what you're interested in, click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. What I'm going to look at in this video is the library examples project that I put on GitHub. Now, I created this project to support my Java for testers training when I do that workshop live. And what this has is a set of examples of how to use libraries that are suitable for Java. The libraries that we cover at the moment are WebDriver, JSON, which is a JSON parsing library. WebDriver is a web automating library. It's a browser abstraction layer for automating browsers. REST Assured is an HTTP library that we can use for testing REST APIs. JSOUP is an HTTP and HTML abstraction layer, which is good for getting HTML files and parsing them, even if they're not well formed. And CAMCREST is an abstraction layer for supporting different assertions. So this project on GitHub, if you want to have a look at it, head off to github.com slash evil tester slash library examples, then clone or download the project. I usually just download a zip when I'm looking at other people's code to learn from it. Then open it into your IDE. I'm using IntelliJ because that's my favorite IDE. And then we'll see. Because this is Java and I'm using Maven, it's so easy to add these libraries. All I do is add them into the POM file as dependencies. None of these conflict, which is great. It's very easy to use. What I'm going to do is I just in this video, I'm just going to give a quick overview of the project and then later videos will drive into each of these libraries in a little bit more detail. One thing I want to show you, however, is the application that we're testing. So I needed a fairly simple API and website and this Star Wars API one is perfect. The API is very, very simple. It's basically just get requests. You do get requests on different URLs like this one and you get JSON in return. Very simple. Let's see who, what people number two is. People slash make that request. So people slash two is C3PO. That was easy. And that was done through the GUI, but I could do that through the API as well. So this is perfect for when I want to experiment with WebDriver, I can do the GUI stuff. When I want to experiment with the REST, I can use REST Assured or JSOUP and hit the API. The API is documented in here. There we go, the documentation. Very simple, and you saw that we could try it online easy. So the Star Wars API is a good one for you to experiment with on your own, even if you didn't look at the library examples that we've put together in this project. So let's have a quick look at this library structure. We got the POM file, obviously, where each of the dependencies are. I've got a main folder with nothing in it because these are very, very simple tests. I've got some, ooh, I've got a cucumber example in there. So I've got some cucumber examples, which are using, I think, the web driver. But basically we have a test folder with all the library examples in their own package. So if you were interested in web driver, you come into the web driver one, you open the web driver test, and you can see there's nothing complicated in here. There's really no dependencies. Each test is a standalone here. They don't depend on before methods or after methods. Try and keep this as simple as possible. Have a look through this if you just want to have a, your own learning process for the Java libraries, or check out other videos in this series where we will look at the libraries in depth. But remember, we're using the Star Wars API that you can find at swappy.co, and you can find the library examples at github.com slash evil tester slash library examples. So if you're a self-motivated learner, you can head off there and have a look at these now, or stay tuned for more videos in this series. But remember to subscribe so that you don't miss a video that would help you with your software testing. Subscribe to the channel now. And if there's any libraries you want to see me do examples of, put them in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think about this. See you in the next video.